we're going to go through the process of logging on and navigating the Cummins Quick Serve website. First thing is we want to log into quickserve.cummins.com. Left side of the screen here we have the customer login. Once we log in, here to the left we have content for engine serial number or ESN that you can put in here. Or if we don't have that, we can go to engine model search. By application, we're going to use automotive. Any engine that is used in a vehicle that is used for on highway will be automotive. Type of engine. We're going to look up an ISX. Fuel system control module. CM870. And then update. Now that we're updated, we are into the main screen. We want to find engine specifications. So let's go to service. And it will open up several different manuals. So service manual for the signature, ISX and QSX 15 service manual. Manual change history, these are all changes that have been made to this manual by the date, the procedure number, and the procedure title. These are all things that have changed since this was first made as a manual. To the left, we have different tabs here that we can use. So let's look up, under rocker levers, we're going to look up for tune-up we have overhead set. This is the number used for that section of the manual for overhead set. Now we have a table of contents. We have measure, general information, preparatory steps, adjust and finishing steps. We can click directly on one of these or we can actually scroll down. It's going to give us general information here such as all overhead lash measurements must be made when the engine is cold. That is 140 or below. Along the way we'll have different procedures here in blue. We'll come back to that. So right now, let's go back to the top. We want to go to Adjust. Once we come into that Adjust tab, it's going to give us Intake Valve, Exhaust Valve, and Engine Brake Clearances. Plus, it's also going to give us the inch-pounds needed to adjust the injector. It will walk us through the different steps and the order, firing order, and the cylinders numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, front to rear. This will also tell us when to adjust what valve, what cylinder, as far as the brake goes, and which injector. Now let's go back up to the top. Again, before we talked about these. So what this is is a direct link. Click on it and it will take us into another section of that manual.
such as torque and sequence for reinstalling the valve cover. You will also need to look up different things as far as specifications on clearances. This is going through valve <coughs> guide installations. Again, here are all of those different tabs that you can click directly on. There is also a section here on specifications. So let's click on General Engine. And it will tell us things about this engine, such as displacement, bore and stroke, dry weights, wet engine weights, firing order, more of your adjustment information. And so on. This concludes how to log into and navigate the Cummins Engine website.